Welcome back, everybody. Good morning. Actually, it's mid-morning now. It's 8.30. Uh, we left the house at 6 a.m. I was going to leave at 5, but my eyeballs were not quite ready to get up yet, so we left at 6. We are on our way to... I say we because it's me and co-pilot. Somewhere back there. Anyway, um, beautiful day, sunshine, it's supposed to be 80 degrees, um, believe it or not, I drove through uh, the forest here a little bit this morning and it dipped down all the way to 25 degrees, so old man winter is definitely on its way. Anyway, um, so we are on our way to the IH Parts America International Harvester Sierra Fall Rally. This is a show that my friend Jeff puts on every year and uh, we are a sponsor of the event and uh, it's a chance just to go see a bunch of really cool international trucks in a really fun setting. It's down in Grass Valley, California, which is Northern California. It's kind of over near the Nevada border. Um, if you're familiar with that area, kind of not too far from like Lake Tahoe, stuff like that. Um, Anyway, it's at the Nevada County Fairgrounds, which is in Grass Valley. They have camping and facilities there. Um, it's a kind of a two and a half day event, two day. It starts Friday afternoon today, check in and uh, all the participants and stuff. There is definitely a show and shine and truck show part of it. And then there's a little obstacle course you can go drive your truck on and they do a trail ride usually one day where they kind of go up in the woods and take everybody on a, an off-road trail if you want to do that and um, then Sunday morning um, there's a pancake breakfast and word assembly and everything else then everybody takes off in the afternoon so there's a swap meet for sale area I mean just really a little bit of everything international it's really cool and it's a chance to catch up with people that you know. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to see a bunch of you guys there. Um, I know that a lot of people that are going to the event um, are followers on Instagram and subscribers on the YouTube. So I look forward to meeting all you guys. And uh, hopefully we're going to get an interview with a couple of really cool people in the international world. Um, my friend Eric, uh, Bare Knuckle Binder, he is rescuing a truck. <laughs> Excuse me. He is rescuing an a early 50s international pickup that he bought a while ago, and it has a Coleman four-wheel drive conversion. Now, it's been sitting in a wrecking yard or junkyard or whatever in Northern California for decades, and there's not a lot left of it. Like, it needed an engine and a transmission and a transfer case and the axles need to be rebuilt, a whole bunch of other stuff. But he went and rescued the truck earlier this year, stripped all the parts off that he needed to rebuild, and then gathered all the parts that he needed to do to finish it. And he lives down in Austin, Texas. So he hauled all those parts back to Texas, rebuilt everything, rebuilt the axles, rebuilt the motor, rebuilt the trans, T case, drive lines, fuel system, everything. And then he packed it all up with new wheels and tires and all the stuff like that. Incredible amount of work. And hauled it to California a couple of days ago. And he is literally building the truck in a junkyard. And it's, this is not his first time, by the way. Go to, go to his YouTube channel. I'll link it down below, Bare Knuckle Binder. And uh, he's literally rebuilding this truck from the ground up in the wrecking yard. And he's going to drive it to Fall Rally for all of us to see and get to talk to him and then him and his wife are going to drive it across the country and down back to Texas over the next week or two and do a whole bunch of sightseeing and everything else I mean epic like beyond epic really it's like it's incredible so hopefully we're going to get an interview with him and uh, that'll probably be a separate video than this video and then um, I'm told that John Glancy is going to be there. He's one of the authors of the Scout Encyclopedia and the owner of Super Scout Specialties and the Lightline Dealers in Ohio. 
So I'm going to try and get an interview with him as well for you guys so you can learn more about him and his business and uh, how important he is to the IH community. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to keep on driving and we'll update you when we get there. Now in California and there is beautiful Mount Shasta. Not much snow on it today. Obviously it's October, so going to probably start snowing soon. Pretty view though, a little hazy. I'm guessing there's still some smoke from a few fires around here somewhere. I'm not really sure where. But yeah, it's a big mountain. Still listening to the old truck show podcast, Lightning and Holman. Buddy's mine. Been on that podcast several times, and I uh, always enjoy their banter and stories and uh, wealth of truck knowledge. So, if you guys ever want to listen to that, they have some pretty amazing industry people on that show all the time and have a lot of really cool insight. So, all right, we're going to keep trucking. Lucy is already over it, and she wants to know when we're going to stop and play with the tennis ball. And the town of Weed, California burnt to the ground not long ago. I didn't know. I heard about it, but I didn't know. Wow. Wow. Okay. Crossing Bridge Bay here. Lake Shasta. And my guess is there's not much of a lake. Second, you know, these poor guys, there's just not much water down there. I feel bad. I mean, there's water, but like, look how far down it is. It's insane. I hope those resorts and houseboats and everything stayed busy this year. I really do. Man, that's brutal. opening day here the show is on I'm gonna park and get Lucy to do all her business and then I'll show you guys some awesome trucks see you soon <laughs> 